hello. Um, this is me, Anne, again, and this is my production assistant or my production manager. Producer. Um, personal manager. <laughs> whatever you want to call her. Jack of all trades. Jack of all trades, uh, Gabby. Gabby Price. And um, we are going to now, uh, this is the finale to the ARK Chrome project, at least for now. Uh, we have made a joint decision. We actually came up with it separately, and then it, then she came over and, and said, what do you think of this? I said, yeah, I've been thinking that anyway. Uh, so <laughs> we're done. We're done with this. Uh, but I just wanted to, uh, and it, it did not get the kind of engagement that we wanted. Um, it kind of got a little bit, and then it kind of stayed there. And most people stayed with it, which was kind of them. But a couple of people just left, and it was just at the same time we were thinking of stopping anyway. So, um, and then on the other hand, the blog that I do gets probably, you know, an average of a thousand views a day now. So it's definitely working the way I want it to work. Uh, uh, in terms of the kind of influence or the kind of impact that I have on the world, uh, because I'm here to help, of course, like all of us are. And my way of helping is to basically write and, um, and tell stories. I do that in person, wherever I am. But so these- A lot. The, yeah, and so the audio, the videos were those stories, were, were stories, extended stories of how I, basically how I um, create meaning in life through uh, going through um, arcs of time and space, uh, showing cycles, uh, cycles of many lengths, cycles of various kinds, interlocking cycles, how cycles work, how that creates a, 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 radiating, uh, a radiating sphere around the center of the being that actually becomes a spiraling out into the universe everywhere. And everybody's like that, but very few of us realize it. Um, uh, something else I want to say about that, I can't remember, but... Well, this is the end of another cycle. And this is the end of a cycle, yeah. Or at least, you know, it's the end of this particular way of doing it. We'll probably do videos some more, but I'm not sure, you know, how that's gonna work. And the audios, on the other hand, are definitely uh, something that is um, something we wanna do, which is to actually make audios of most of my written work, um, which now numbers in the, I don't know how many, I mean, my Excel sheet now has over 400 entries. And those are, these are essays and sometimes books. So um, I've just got so much that I want to archive, so much of my own, what I call recapitulation project, which I want to finish in two years. Uh, I want to finish getting the website ready for accepting all of it in, at the end of April this year. And then two years from now, uh, have the project finished, have, have everything in there that I want to put in there. And that doesn't even include, that doesn't count the blog posts I've done for Extra Permaculture since 2011. And there are, I don't know how many, 8,000 now, 10,000, I don't know, too many, way too many. Uh, and so I'm not, I don't know how we're going to work with that. That's going to be an archive too at some point. But um, so. Um, and all of this will be archived on? Uh, oh, yes, Tondra Press, Tondra. which is the, the press that I began the writing project, the, the writing, or the publishing end of my writing when I moved to Bloomington, Indiana, which was uh, 17 years ago. And this, the book, This Vast Being, which I did with three friends, one was the editor, one was the production manager, and one was the designer. And um, there, it's a beautifully done book, and it's incredible for anyone who is in the grieving process and or knows someone who is or expects to be soon or and actually you know I would say that what lies beneath the the um, the violence the fear everything that we're dealing with in this culture during this time is grief um, unprocessed grief so grief is a huge issue if we would just tap into it and recognize that we all need to process our own grief. And then there's the collective grief, of course, which is of the whole world. Um, one other thing I wanted to say about um, this project, which we started 
right before the uh, pandemic um, started to take us all, and then the election, and so both of those things were what has been riveting people. I know I, the videos I watch have to do with those, you know, have to do with uh, cultural or, or geopolitical or political matters, um, and I'm sure everybody's in this. So, here we have this woman, this old woman, who's doing this project of looking at her life, looking back at her life. So what? <laughs> you know, so what? On the other hand, there are those videos there now, and they are there as examples for anyone at any time who wants to learn how to process in a way that's conscious, doesn't require other people, doesn't require experts, doesn't require um, therapists. <laughs> you may want to do some journaling, on the other hand. It requires intuition. It requires intuition, and it, it's helpful to have friends to co-process with mm -hmm. e equally. So each of you help the other that way, which is what I've done all my life, is co-process or process by myself. So so we're done with this now. This is the final, um, this is the final podcast on this. And this fast being yeah. became the segue into, I, I was supposed to post the first chapter to this, yeah, uh, as an audio. As an audio. But there's so many amazing photographs and um, images in this book that need to be scanned and put into the video and edited into the video. And I had to destroy, basically, a beautiful copy of this mess being uh, to make sure I could scan everything in properly and everything would look nice. But again, it's, it's, a, it's a great deal of work. And, uh, and I want to do it right. And what we've been doing is one audiobook, then a video, one audiobook, week, yeah. video, and this is the kind of project that I don't want to snooze on, you know, like if I have a bad week and I make a mistake and it's not the same each time, then the whole audiobook is going to not be what it should be. So um, that's what caused me to get up from my desk and come see Anne and say, hey, how about we let go of Patreon and focus more on making sure that Tondra Press is, is ready, ready to go. And it's a lot of work. Right. But we do need to monetize um, this aspect of my life. And that wasn't doing it, obviously. Um, and there is a button on the blog that says, you know, you're welcome to donate to keep this project alive. And that sometimes will receive $100 from somebody, which is nice, but it's not been very often. Because I haven't really ask for money at all. I just haven't done that. Um, but why don't you give a list of the costs that you that that you're aware of? The co well, the costs of of what the production of from from the pr yeah the production of Anne pays me for this work, yeah. and the the Patreon fund does is a drop in the bucket compared mm -hmm. to what she's paying me to do this work. And I feel like if we, if we start if we stop the Patreon now. And move everything over to Tondra Press and get it ready to go, and monetize the downloads for each chapter, full audiobooks, PDF downloads for each of the books that weren't available before, like doing the dishes and ten tools, um, and then offer up signed or unsigned copies of her book, This Fast Being, um, and and house that all in one space um, that she can um, share on her blog and in other places, and then people are more aware of. Um, where she's um, creating things that, that are available piecemeal or in one big, you know, download. Um, we're figuring out what that's going to look like, what, how much is that going to be, you know, where is it, you know, every chapter download for how much and full audio downloads of the entire books for different cost. And I would like to see this best being offered up for sale and sign copies that you could ask for Anne to personally sign for you at a higher cost um, that would help cover the costs for doing all this work and um, and then it would be an archive for forever forever for, and, <laughs> and a lot of stuff that's still unseen that still needs to be for when I recorded died. and <laughs> and printed and um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is, it's a labor of love. It yeah, really yeah, is. it's my legacy. It's, it's the kind of legacy that I can offer that really has to do with my being. I mean, I hope everyone thinks like that, you know, that there's, that your being, if you really 
if you really see it whole as you get older, you start to see it whole, it's something to offer to the world. And it doesn't have to just be material things, which most people think about, or money. Um, those are very superficial. So, yeah. And, and, the, and one other thing I want to mention is that I came to the conclusion a long time ago that the impact that I, that I want to have and that I do have um, is not that of, you know, becoming a big name, famous, and so forth, but homeopathic. In other words, a tiny little potent seed that has this, and it's born in the etheric plane, has a radiation to it that goes out forever. And that I just have to stay in integrity with myself to be able to do this work on a homeopathic level. And that, and you know, sometimes like this, the, it's not obvious that it's valuable, but it probably will be someday. It is to me. Okay. So it starts there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> one person and, and then... Or like when I did Chrome Chronicles, um, you know, it started with, and that one was actually, became, you know, it only took a couple months for, for us to have a hundred people that wanted to subscribe to it. Which, so it had a, but it never got huge. It still isn't huge. It went on for 12 years, that magazine, and it spawned the Crohn's Council, which is still going. So and that was started in 1989. So that's what I mean. These things have a radiating effect on the culture. And um, each of us who is a conscious being and working to basically help this world grow up, uh, grow into its um, fullness, um, can do that. Think of, think of yourself homeopathically rather than I want to be a star, like not a star that I failed. Bullshit. If you become a star, it's very dangerous. You tend to get co-opted. And um, this way you can stay yourself and n you know nobody knows about you really. I mean, but they, the certain people do, but the, the wider world doesn't have a chance to, to try to co-opt you or form you in a certain way. And that's why I decided to do this vast being as a self-published work too. I didn't want to work with an external publisher who would want me to conform to certain standards. I have my own standards, thank you, and they are they have been developed over a long period of time and they will continue to be developed as long as I live. And um, I am an individual and I want to stay an individual um, and no compromise. Okay. What, did, what else do we need to say? Um, the, uh, for me, this is about also time, um, the once a week vids, plus we have, um, lots of changes happening at the permaculture village yeah. with our garden manager is leaving We're we're all taking on full responsibilities, more responsibilities with the gardening. Um, plus I do the accounting property management, a bunch of other things. So this frees my time up to actually focus on making sure that website gets um, done by the end of April. By the end so of April. So we can and present it as, with, hopefully with the book as the first audio there, right? This fast being? Yeah. Uh, yes, we could do that or... Um, because the book's already there, the book itself, the printed book. Yeah. But, so if we did an audio for that and showed that. Go ahead. Because everything, well, I mean, everything else is already done, like the 10 Tools book yeah, and yeah. the Dishes book. Yeah, we could put all those that up. Yeah, we could put those up. We have to format them though. All that stuff needs the kind of. We're not sure what the formatting on the uh, the um, well the audio fine. Yeah, the I mean, audio would just be offered up yeah, as MP3s sorry. possibly. Yeah, yeah. But we, I mean, I think that we should, we'll probably just leave them up on YouTube until the, this mass being is completed, yeah. and um, and then like she said, she's got a whole list of other things that haven't I've not even seen yet. <sighs> that. <laughs> I'm glad I showed up when I did. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot um, a lot to accomplish, and and I think Patreon to me this whole year has been like a planting of a seed, and this next step is like potting up. We're potting up that seed to make sure it gets more um, oxygen or light or something, um, and. There's, there's so many more seeds to plant that one over here um, is kind of a niche, but since she already has people looking at what she's doing on the blog, it's better to, to come out of that greenhouse and 
yeah, get out there. I want to own. tell one more story um, that reminds me of a man who was the father of my husband Jeff, who was a was actually famous in his field. Um, he was the inventor of the cell phone. Yeah. I've not heard that story. <laughs> yeah, and he was um, um, he he worked for AT and T. It used to be called Bell Labs, but anyway, he was the only man alive who had the history of electronics in his being, and he was trying at the end of his life to write that down. Oh wow! And he never got beyond an outline. Mm. And I look at that and I think that is so sad that he wasn't able to do that because we would have that now if he had done that. Mm. You know, we don't want to cancel culture. We want to enrich our present by understanding and really recapitulating our past over and over again. It slows us down so we don't have to be so, you know, frantic. It makes us feel more grounded. It does all sorts of stuff to be looking at your whole life and what you have contributed to the world. Enough? Yeah. All right, we're done. <laughs> final, final RK, R A R K, Chromecast. I think, uh, I think, I, what I would say, I, I, there are so many things that I learned through Anne's work that I'm looking forward to doing more of this, just in a different capacity. Mm -hmm. And um, we learn through experience, mm -hmm. and this has been a great experience for me. I'm very proud of the work we've done. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you all very much. Thank you.